After a two-year absence, Formula One is returning to the original night race. We are going back to Singapore. The last time F1 came to Singapore was 2019. So in today's video, I thought we'd play F1 2019. And I'm sure just like every other time, we go back to old F1 games. Even, you know, pretty recent, you know, three game titles ago. Things are going to be drastically different. I'm probably remembering this game a lot better than it actually is graphically, let's say. And even though it's only about three years different, the grid lineup is so, so different. We had Rich Energy still in the sport, sponsoring Haas. The Alpine F1 team, as we know now, was still called Renault in their black and yellow. Aston Martin were racing point in that striking BWT pink car. Alpha Tari was still Toro Rosso. And the Williams livery looked like it had been done by a five year old on MS Paint. Mercedes still had the partnership of Hamilton and Bottas. We had the whole Red Bull saga where they started off with Pierre Gasly alongside. Max Verstappen and then changed to Alexander Albon halfway through the season. We had Vettel still at Ferrari. Carl Lando was a thing. Norris and Sainz's first year partnership at McLaren. Ricardo and Hulkenberg were teammates at Renault. Romain Grosjean, Daniel Kvyat, and Kimi Raikkonen were still on this grid. And back in 2019, I looked a lot more nerdy than I do now usually in videos because I didn't even have my contacts yet. Having looked at the weather forecast for Singapore, apparently we're in for an absolute washout with rain on every day. So it seems fitting that we should actually do this race in full wet conditions. If it is going to be a wet race, that is one spicy way to return to this very challenging and on the, well, the longest race in Formula One on the calendar. And in terms of what car we're going to drive in, I can't not choose the Ferrari because the 2019 Ferrari, I mean, oh, I mean, one in one sense, absolute beauty of a car. And of course, had a very illegal engine which meant Ferrari in this year were also pretty damn good. And we can't not drive as the man who's retiring out of Formula 1 this season. Said Vettel, this was his last Ferrari win. Welcome to Singapore as we get ready for the green light. Oh, I forgot that. This is the, this was the game where they still had commentary in the little intro bit to qualify. Now they just, I don't know what happened. They just couldn't be asked to make Crofty do commentary lines. So they just sacked it off. Oh, this is weird. This is very weird. Oh, Grosjean in those... Well, I mean, they thought it was good looking, but it really wasn't. The golden black of Rich Energy had nothing on that old Lotus. And Al Bono in the Red Bull alongside Verstappen. Funny enough, that's literally the lineup I have right now in my My Team career mode. I'm going to do one shot qualifying in the dry just so we can see Singapore in all its glory under the floodlights in dry conditions. And just to get used to the handling as I absolutely woefully missed turn one. Where's the downforce? It's fine. The Ferrari, this Ferrari didn't need downforce. It was all done on the straights with a very legal engine. Very legal. I mean, look how much we're monstering Hamilton here. Now, I want to preface, like every time I go back and play older F1 games, I'm doing this on a controller to keep things all casual, but um, I do not remember the handling being this... Well, um, loosey-goosey is the term I'm going to use. Were the cars just this loose? Or Oh, my. Why is there under so much understeer? And now I've broken a bit of my front wing. And now I'm... Okay, I'm going to be last place. Well, you know what? That's quite similar to what Vettel's real performance in the Aston Martin may potentially be this weekend. So, you know what? We're going to have to accept it. Actually, might not be the case, to be fair, because the Aston Martins do a bit better at the higher downfall circuits, as we've seen before. But this has not been a great return to the game. I can't lie, as... Uh, okay, that's our qualifying over. It's better. It's better. I planned on this being a last question mark chat. I did. I did. I planned it. Okay, here we go. Race time. Heavy rain. This is just not going to go well. I mean, I've given myself even more of a challenge. I've got to re-get used to the handling model on a controller. I've now got heavy rain to contend with, and I'm at the back of the grid. So this can only go so well. Okay, here we go. I know what you can do. Don't let me down. Oh, it's good to hear Jeff again. Oh, I miss him. I miss him. What a lad. What a lad. And back in 2019, the game failed to give any of our engineers, personnel, jackets. So they're just here freezing their arms off in the rain, getting absolutely soaked. Here we go, the Singapore Grand Prix on the last F1 game where real life F1 came to this circuit. We're on the way, five laps in heavy rain. Let's see what we can do. And 
Again, what is it with the older F1 games having biblical spray off the... Okay, we're gonna... Okay, you didn't see that. I think I said this last year when, when I did a very similar video where we went back on F1 2011 for the Turkish Grand Prix. But I feel like on the, on the current F1 games, they've just gotten rid of, like, the Titanic spray or at least a lot of what comes on the screen, like going down the camera on the T-cam position. I don't know if it's anything to do with my camera position, but this is, seems a lot more treacherous than what we've experienced so far on F122. My god, the, the, this handling model is so slidey. I'm having to relearn. I'm going to get such a bad habit now when I go back to my team, when I want to try and slide the car around as we go around the outside of two, three cars. Oh, oh, oh. oh god, it's the disgusting Williams. Cover your eyes, folks. Cover your eyes. Is it gone? No, I've crashed. It's worth it just not to look at the Williams car. Hey, box, box, box. We're adjusting the strategy. Come in. Oh, really, Jeff? Adjusting the strategy? I think it's in the, in the bin, mate. And our new strategy strategy is if by magic we're actually back on track and uh, this time I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to fight through the pain of looking at that Williams car just so I can see where I'm going but honestly who actually thought that was a good deal like who signed off on this livery I think we all said it at the time and it's still very relevant like we do actually still need to investigate who signed off on this being an actual livery in Formula One with the worst gradient I've ever seen. Can we send one down the inside of Russell? Yes, we can. Slow it down. Good. I got the elbows out. I heard some crunching going on behind, but it's fine. We're Ferrari. They can excuse our illegal engine. They can excuse getting a bit argy-bargy as we send one in the inside of Lance Stroll. Three years difference. He's still in the same seat, and he's still just... Well, P16. Same goes for Gasly for, in the team formerly known as Toro Rosso. Although, I don't know, Alpha Tauri. Ah, to be fair, Alpha Tauri probably are around P14 kind of pace these days. Uh, they were a lot better in, in the, in the two-year gaps. We didn't go to Singapore. The amount this car slides around in like third and second gear. I know we're in the wet, but I even, I even felt it in the dry there. It really was a case of back on F1 2019. Who can slide the car around the corner best? That was the handling model. No, that's not the button I wanted. What is ERS? Oh, no, wait. I can't even... Wait, can I deploy ERS? Oh, wait, hang on. Okay, Jeff. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I don't... I, can, you can stop talking now, please. I forgot. No, there's no overtake button. You have to manually go down five different settings for ERS. How did any controller players do this? This is ridiculous. I put ERS on automatic because I can't... I simply can't... How did any controller player do that? You must have all just been auto ERS the whole time. It's all coming back to me now. The memories of flicking through five different settings of ERS every single corner to try and get the best amount of power out of your engine. This game may have had its flaws, but let's not remember. It's actually pretty groundbreaking in quite a few ways. It was the first year we had career mode driver transfers that they didn't announce it at the time. They just snuck it into the game. We had the first ever story mode, the F2 story mode, the, the introduction of Devin Butler and Lucas Weber, and this game started classic cars. It had Senna and Prost in it. And at the moment, I'm very much not driving anywhere near their talent levels as I struggle down in P14. I mean, it's a 2019 Ferrari, but I'm driving like a 2020 Ferrari. Okay, come on. Let's get points. To be fair, I don't think Leclerc is very high up. So if I can get P10, I'll be satisfied because... Well, that's the handling. It is actually... Sh it feels terrible. Also, where is this Ferrari power meant to be having in a straight line? And now, amazingly, this is quite a rare case that happens in Singapore. Um, it is it's dried up instantly. The rain has literally been hoovered up by the best hoovers in the world, Formula One cars. And the rain is no more as we enter the last two laps. We're now fighting Gasly instead of Kafiat. He locks up. We send it down the inside. And we've got the elbows out to get up into P13. And points are now in sight. And our grip is back because, my God, this game... I thought driving in the wet on F122 is horrific. I forgot. I must have pushed that trauma deep, deep down in my mind because that was actually torture. Now that we've actually got some grip, I can actually slide this car around in some sort of coherent fashion to try and close up to the man who would end up replacing 
the driver we are driving as. I need to watch my fuel levels because I think, I've, oh yeah, I'm I, I'm literally in the red in a five lap race. That's actually quite impressive. Go on, go for the dive bomb. Oh, ho, ho, close as you want, but we sent it on sights and now we can try and get Hulkenberg. Going to go lean mixture here in the last sector just to try and not get embarrassed. That would be quite embarrassing on the return to this game uh, of running out of fuel at the end of it in a five lap race. Can I send it down the inside here? I'm going to go for it. Oh my God. What a move. That may just retire Hulkenberg out of the sport. DRS now on Magnussen in P10, who is one of the few drivers running in a team that he was still at in 29. This man took a two-year break from Formula 1 and then came back and is still all the same in this game as you make a beautiful little path. Are we actually going to run out of fuel? I'm getting worried. 0 0.22. I don't feel like we're saving a lot of fuel here. The stakes are high here. We've got half a lap to go. Will we run out of fuel? Can we overtake any more cars? This has been a favorite overtaking spot of ours so far. We're finding a lot of pace through that left and then the right as well. On Rick Bobby in the Renault. Even here he's behind Lando. Speaking of, can we get Mr. Norris? He's been held up by Raikkonen. We can't make a move on the inside this time round. Gonna have to wait for the other corners. I think Lewis Hamilton is about to come through. Yes, Hamilton has won this Singapore Grand Prix. I'll be absolutely amazed if that was the case in real life. We can't get Norris. And on the line, we're going to run out of fuel. Don't overtake me. Oh, thank God. But we still no, technically run out of fuel. We'll How would we do that in a five-lapper? <laughs> well, that was an interesting return to Singapore, I must say. Um, I had a better memory of this game's handling in my mind than it actually was. I don't know if it's because I was just on a controller. Maybe if I returned back to my wheel, it might be semi-okay. But it was nice to take a trip down memory lane and return to Singapore in the state it was when F1 in real life came back to it. There's been a real big gap. It's gonna be so awesome to see those new cars around the streets. But that is gonna be it then for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, hit the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're around here, then do get subscribed for weekly full-on content. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.